right, fishy folks, happy auto water change Wednesday. So I completed this part of the system. <coughs> Excuse me. Simply uh, cemented in a small piece of three quarter inch PVC to a uh, hose fitting, PVC hose fitting. And then my water change hose that I used to attach to my Python adapter. Uh, this hose is long enough from here to get to every tank I have. And that's that. Pretty quick, easy, quick and easy, and actually it works great. Um, I wish that I could just control the pump without controlling the zone, like I could just put on and it would go on, but I haven't figured that out if I can do that. I still have to secure, still have to buy more metal straps like that and secure the top of the hose, of the fill lines. Also, eventually I definitely would like to put a float in um, the problem with that is, I don't know where I would put it, I don't know, you know, I gotta figure that out. That's, that's the next part of the auto system, I think. Well, not the next part, but a part. Uh, the auto water change system is just about done with its cycle. Um, I have everything with the drip emitter on for one hour, so, you know, the tanks are getting... The tanks with the one gallon emitters are getting a one gallon per day change. Let me show you what I did back here actually, because I did do something, I did add to the system. So this is a, um, just a manifold and you attach micro drip emitting, micro drip emitter line and there's, see that black nipple on the end right there? That's a one gallon per hour drip emitter. So this tank gets one gallon per hour. For every hour it's on, it changes approximately a gallon of water. Whether it's, you know, 0.8 of a gallon or 1.2 of a gallon, whatever. We're gonna call it a gallon. So that this is attached to this pipe, which runs all the way over here to this cross, which gets fed by this pipe, which is zone three. So then what I did was, as this is the, this is the fill, or the input, I guess. I teed in here. Wow, yeah, I teed in here. That's better. Uh, added a ball valve, because why not? Added this nipple for future expansion. And then added this drip emitter manifold on the end, which is a, sorry about that, fellas and ladies which is a pressure regulated two gallon per hour emitter. So every nipple here gets two gallons per hour, theoretically, within a certain pressure range. So what I've done is I have added two hoses to the 55, approximately 10% per day, two to the 30, a little more than 10% a day, and one to that 20 over there, and one to this acrylic tank, which is about 25 gallons. So all those tanks are on the same zone and I think I have plenty of, of pressure left. So the plan here is to add another drip emitter manifold. I like to get one, get one with eight outputs. I have to research that. I have seen it, I just don't know exactly what it is. I know you can get six like that. The reason why I want eight is I have seven tanks on the top row that don't have any drip emitters, they're still using a ball valve method, which essentially is cracking the ball valve just a skosh, a smidge, if you will, um, to let water drip out. The problem is it, they're really hard to control because they're ball valves, they're not gate valves. Um, but that's what I had when I made my system, so what are you going to do? All right, that said, what else we got for auto water change Wednesday? Really not much. Um, this might be the last Auto Water Change Wednesday video for a while. I don't know what else uh, I'm going to be able to do until Christmas break. <coughs> My plans to add this drip emitter. Actually, to get every, I think every tank in this system on those drip emitters. Not sure if I'm going to use the, uh, the pressure regulated... Uh, pressure regulated pre-measured drip emitter or manifold or just the blank manifold 
Um, they're so cheap. I, I think this was three or four dollars, and that one down there was like under six dollars. Uh, this one I got from my local irrigation store. They were super friendly and super nice. Apparently there's a guy that's out on disability that loves this kind of stuff. This is kind of ugly. You should have should have done something to make it look better. You know what? I don't really give it a damn. So, ha. Huh. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. This I got from Amazon. It's an add-on item, so you have to spend 25 bucks, which this time of year is really no problem. <coughs> um... Again, I think that's it for the auto water change system. We'll talk about the plans again. Because, you know, I saw something shiny. I had to go check it out. Uh, I like to get all the tanks on a, the drip emitter system. I would more than likely simply uh, add a T here and add a T. I'd actually want to do it before here, but I couldn't. So I'd have to add a T here. Um, you know, coming out this way with drip emitters on either end. I could probably do this whole system on one or two zones, I would say. I gotta look into that, two zones. And then uh, what I'd like to do, my plan over Christmas break, which I have quite a few days off, but the family will be home, so we'll see how much work I can get done. Uh, my plan is to get this rack done. We'll put the four 5.5s on the top, three tens there, three tens there. How many tens do I have? One, two, three, four. And I have seven in the garage. So yeah, plenty of tanks. Also, I'm gonna do something with this 70, whether it's give it to someone to seal for me and look for a, a, a plastic for it. I did, I, I do wanna put something here, maybe a tank just for me, not a breeding tank. I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of that tank down there. Um, try to sell it and maybe put a couple tens down there or actually I would like to put 20s. I have to measure that space. I don't think I could fit three 20s there. I think I need to fit two, but we'll see. All right, so the plans, get this on a zone, uh, complete automatic. And uh, I gotta drill some tanks. I gotta buy some more bulkheads. I gotta plumb it. I gotta add air. I mean, there's air there. There's just not enough air for all the tanks. Like, I have that, that ugly thing there. But. All right, Auto Water Change Wednesday is coming to an end. It's a short one, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and have a great day.